did you know that uh, in Japan, over the weekend, they had a mega, mega snowstorm? And during the mega snowstorm, they had one of the biggest vehicular pileups in the history of the world. A truck crashed into a car, which went into a rail, and we had a total of 134 car pileup in a highway in Japan. One dead and 17 injured. Not bad all because, one dead. All because the Asians, the Japanese in this situation, didn't know how to drive during the snow. What do you think, Dalai Lama? They should know how to drive snow. That's, that's what a country is. A country has the same seasons as we do. Yeah. But, yeah. Do, do you think... And they, it... like, dude, they're, like, their, car, they're, they're, their car culture is insane. They drift. They drift in the fucking snow. Let me ask you this, though. Um, does that area of Japan tend to get any snow, or is it kind of like it just was a random act of nature that it, they got a bunch of snow? It was northern Japan where they used to having snow. It happens. Okay. They, they forgot to forgot to salt the yeah. world. A hundred and thirty-four I mean, car pileup. Well, do you remember yeah. a couple of years back when Atlanta got like an inch of snow and it literally shut down the highway, and there was like a hundred and something cars that piled into each other, also. Yeah, but yeah. that was Atlanta. They don't expect snow. This is northern Japan where they expect snow. And 134 car pileup that took eight hours to remove. Well, what time oh, yeah, was it? Was it was a rush hours. hour? Like, were they just, it, did it like, you know, there's a whole I lot of contributing yeah. factors here. No, but, but guess in some areas around here in the United States, well, like you have the hill area and you can't see anybody right. on the hill. And so, like, they, they go down the hill, and it's already too late. They're going exactly. down, they're getting sliding down, and they and they smash into somebody. It happens. Well, it happens around here all the time. If they, they, if they don't salt some um, some shopping centers around here, yeah, it's good. Well, for them, it was nearly two feet of snow, sixty miles per hour winds in northern Japan, in which <laughs> cars were stranded on average for eight hours after the um, accident. So, and they literally said that it was triggered by one truck slamming into a passenger car shortly before noon local time. Oh, so and how, how, how much snow was there? Two feet. Two feet. That's a lot of. Uh, that, that, that's 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 decent. That's, that's decent amount. One hundred and thirty-four co-pilot. Who knows what the visibility yeah. was? It's got to be poor because you know it's uh, coming down, right? Yeah. So, uh, Dalai Lama, do you think the Asian stereotype exists? <laughs> Oh, no, 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 especially not for the Japanese. The Japanese, they're the good drivers of Asia. I disagree because you're a horrible driver, but, you know. Try, try faster than yes. <laughs> <laughs> drive faster. That's why you're a horrible driver. You have a, well, like how many car accidents I got in there? I don't know. That's well, a good question. Are you, you're, you're Japanese, right? <laughs> Filipino, damn it. We, we yeah, all good drivers, too. Um, how many accidents have you had? Uh, Three. Not bad. But, 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 but like three, one is 100% my fault. Uh, two people smash into me. Mm. Steve, how many accidents have you had? Uh, I have been involved in two acts, two act, uh, three accidents, none of which were my fault. And when I had my car, my car was hit seven times, including when it was parked. How many of them look like Dalai Lama and kind of like myself? Uh, I don't really recall. Uh, probably none. Honestly, was, was it? Was well, it a- well, well, let's be let's be real. The, the the bad drivers are you know you know fobs fresh off the boat. Oh. Yeah, but you know, yeah, like yeah, uh, fobs but, fresh off the boat. Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's, it's usually it's usually them because that was my first accident. Freaking damn fob fucking wheeled right into my driver door. That's what mm-hmm. happened. My first accident was a Chinese teenager hitting me at a red light in Stony Brook. Ah, uh, teenagers, teenagers tend to do stupid. I jumped out the car, I started screaming, and he started crying. And he did nothing to my bumper. I had a Mercury Grand Marquis. It was the size of a boat. Nice. And uh, he hit me, and I started screaming and cursing. And I was just, I went off. Ah, you, ah, I went crazy. And uh, he started crying. I said, just get out of here. And I let him go. He was like, he actually, he actually looked at me. He, he wiped off his tears. He started bowing to me as he walked backwards. And I was like, I guess I did the right thing. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, I got into one accident that was my fault. And then uh, I guess yeah. I, I, I tapped the car once and that was it. But no, that's the average. You, you, you do three and you just hopefully you just don't, don't, don't do any more. That's all. 
Yeah, well, none of mine were like bad. I mean, the only one that was really bad was uh, a friend of mine hit my car when it was parked in a parking lot and did about three hundred dollars worth of damage to the right wheel well to the right wheel well. That sucks. Your friend hit your car while your car was parked. Oh, my car was hit like four times parked. Did you not park right? <laughs> no, I did. This was, I was also a teenager then too. Well, Dalai Lama is the only guy that uh, constantly hits parked cars or keeps getting hit when he's parked, I should say. I'll never forget, I was coming back from the gym one time out on Long Island. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, you're right, though. That freaking home, freaking home Depot, freaking, freaking black dude in a freaking BMW rails me while I'm doing freaking per- paperwork. And I'm like, yo, man. And, and then literally, I just walked out of him. I was like, buddy. Get out of your freaking car. What the hell what the hell's wrong with you? I was like, at the very least, say you're fucking sorry. You know, that's what I'm saying. Not only that, there's also the story going around for a couple of years that Dalai Lama would just like park his car at the Target or at other places. And randomly, people would just come up to his car with the shopping cart and just keep banging his car because <laughs> it looked that. like that. <laughs> fucking old woman. Bam! I freaked my door like, dude! Yeah. Respect, man. Respect. Uh, this, no, nobody respects other people's cars anymore. Of course not. Yeah. But then, then, then again, I'm just sitting there. Like, sure, I key that motherfucker's car. I was like, nah, nah. I'm good. I'm fine. <laughs> I, I guess it depends on how hard they hit it. If they really have like, no regard, I'm like, fuck that. This guy's getting some scratches on this car now. <laughs> or you take off his mirror. With my bare hand, <laughs> crack that shit off. It was like that depends.